once again, everyone. My name is Mason Badoi. I am a forensic scientist from the world of mysteries. And we are here today with the next episode of Eye of the Somnium Files. I'm feeling we've got a pretty big episode ahead of us today, if only by virtue of the fact that given the timing, we're probably on the verge of ending stream. Or root, I should say. That's the way I feel right now, I could end stream, but we'll just have to power through it. Anyway, a whole lot of stuff happened last stream, but uh... Not a lot of it makes a whole lot of sense, so we'll just start at the conclusion and say that boss is fucking missing. Seems bad, so let's look around to her office for la evidence. At a glance, it doesn't look like there's any signs of kidnapping, and she was acting unnecessarily suspicious earlier. So we can only imagine what that means. Or, you know, maybe she's just on a date with one of her husbands. Anything's possible at this point. Look, Date! Handsome young men! And what am I meant to do with this information, Iba? Why are you getting excited? There are no clues on the poster. I mean, well, now we know that that's certain. Thorough investigations are important. Maybe the posters? No, no clues there. Happy birthday, in relation to the case. It's not my birthday! Pumpkin's probably not a clue. It's the same Christmas tree as usual. Can't find any clues. Okay, so the holiday killer wasn't behind this. I see, I see. Maybe the bear returns here? Boss, hiding something from me. I can beat her over the head with that tombstone. Oh, God, that's kind of a dot at land of the tombstone. This is it. Will the story continue? Doesn't appear to be any significant meaning to the tombstone. What do you want on your tombstone, chat? Pepperoni and cheese! Boss loves to wine. Cheese strikes me as the type, yeah. Maybe she got drunk and went to Hitomi's house for some reason. You sound drunk yourself. A wine bottle is not relevant, I ran alright. We've we've killed enough time. Anything in the desk? Desk. If she had a secret, she would keep it somewhere around here. Anything on computer? Oh, computers. You are so convenient. Can this PC? I will try. I will try. Boop, 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 boop. Now I look at you. Unlocked. I'm in. Logging in. I have recovered some video data. It was uploaded only a few hours ago. Open it. Alright, show me what's in the box of datums. That is... Uh, awfully convenient is what it is. <laughs> that was incredibly nice of her to Why? just leave a signed confession like this. Why? I'd recognize that unnecessarily Boss. sexy strut anywhere. And the case remains unsolved. I mean, after that, I can't imagine how it couldn't have. Would I like to save? Yes. Well, I was saying from, I believe it was around episodes two or three or so, that... Okay, there's some mess here. One step at a time. 
to start with, I was saying since about episode like two or three or so that I thought Boss was the most suspicious person in the game. She would be the one with the resources to, you know, be able to comprehensively frame every other person whose suspicion will return. But it doesn't really make sense if you think about it. For starters, if she was trying to frame people, why would she keep killing the people she was framing? And for another thing, no amount of police influence would ever give you the ability to make Iris act that suspicious with Carr, which is the only reason we suspected her. Secondly, we can see now that we have stopped cold on this point, which was a thing you occasionally saw in the various Zero Escape games. Whatever we have yet to find here, it's going to require us to learn something the game wants us to learn through another path. Alright, but whatever the case may be, that appears to be the entirety of... ...the left half of the menu. Or the flowchart. This is not that one Mystery Science Theater bit. She's seeing the left side of the menu. Alright, should we... Should we review what we think we know here? Whatever happens next, it's going to be way off on the opposite side of... ...map, so we're going to be changing our founding principles. Not sure what that means in context. I don't think we're going to be changing the identity of the culprit or anything. I mean, that's not usually how this works, although... When we went on the other route and sinking in the Swain, that did cause them to not find Sejima's blood at the crime scene. And nobody made any notes about injuries on his leg when we found his body. In the... I guess the Ota route would be the easiest way to put it, so I don't know. I hope they don't just change who the hell is depending on the route. That would be really cheap. Wouldn't appreciate that in the slightest. But whatever the case may be. Gonna have to go in. I mean, I've gone through this place in forever. All right. I feel like this entire route was pretty efficient in terms of investigation. First route we went through, we did find someone who sure looked an awful lot like the culprit, and officially closed the case. This go around, the case just kind of arbitrarily ended. Midway through, right after we picked up some incredibly important-looking evidence. And over here, it looked for all the world like we got just a signed confession from the killer. There were different people in both routes, in all three routes granted, but you know. Semantics. Anyway, the point I'm getting at is that I expect this route is going to probably go much worse for us if it goes differently at all. Whatever the case may be. <laughs> Let's sink our teeth in. Let's be a bit less nice to Mizuki. I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong from us doing that. Alright, I'm pretty sure I still remember how to do this. I'll try to get this out of the way quickly. If you're curious how it's supposed to go, there's always the VOD. Whoop. Your clothes on the Mova. Alright. 
first thing we have to do... One, two, three, and then we're at what? What do we do? I know. Nope, I've been through this already, game. You know that better than anyone. Alright. Step one is to uproot the... Uproots the ice pick. Because that's Door weird. A lightning rod. Now, our branch is to either remove the bird cage or blow it away. Last time we removed it from the control this room, I guess that just made a bit too much sense. Let's fix that, why don't we? Shout, mm, shout, mm, let it all out. These are the things we can do without. Stop it! Yeah! Thank you, Buffalo! Stop we already. love you! Good night! Well, that accomplished nothing. I'm not sure that would work. I'm not sure where we go from here. An enormous bird. Can we lift it? Understood. Bomb the builder. Can we lift it? Bomb the builder. No, we can't. Agent Dante, you've got five minutes. I didn't lose that long. What were options? The control room again? I know one of these is correct and the other one isn't. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted up. A mic. We threaten it into submission. Listen up, miscreant. I know you're hiding in there. You miscreant. Miscreant's a fun word. People don't say that enough anymore. Nothing happened. Damn. You've got to begin your big speeches by going this is the place as aggressively as you possibly can. Don't you know that, Iva? Your parents would be very disappointed in you. Yeah, I know. Do a flip! You can't give up hope now! You're having fun, aren't you? Me, but this game is impossible. An enormous bird. Maybe right, let's it break on in. No, your body is slim enough to get through. You think so? In that case. I guess you're fatter than I thought. I am not! I am just... large-breasted! Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. Getting, getting this out of your system, Uchikoshi. I might as well take a the look inside room. here. Up and the walk on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Right, we've now created a portal into another dimension. Don't go into the light. I didn't expect to see this inside. Stay away from it! Don't even look at it! Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, last time we went in cage A, this time we'll go to cage B. A bird cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? You can say balloon. Yep, yep, yep. Lift it up. This'll be easy. Glad to hear it. 
Be free, my children. Fly! Fly, my pretties! What? But it was so heavy! Physics. And now we just gotta get the heck out of here. Oh? What is this? A deflated balloon. Gee, I wonder what a we gotta do with this. I told minutes. you, please call it a balloon. What are you getting so worked up about? This bit makes perfect sense. Don't worry about it. So I'm like, what have I missed? Um, the route we ended off on last time ended like literally five seconds after we started. I looked at Boss's computer and there was like... Just a really conveniently, you know, totally sensible, not plot mandated at all. A video of Boss shooting Sosajima in the head. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure he wasn't shot in the head in the other timeline. That I grant you I wasn't particularly looking. And then the route ended and the game was like, Sorry, you can't progress past this point until you learn this information in a more narratively convenient way on some other route. So now we're back here at the very first Somnium going to the right half of the flowchart. Girl, you literally do not have lungs. Where are you keeping all that? I wish your boobs were that big. Shut up, Date. Are you serious? Those are obscenely large for a human. Jesus, I can see the individual polygons on that thing. Well, I suppose I am not technically human. Try to pick up that balloon, he'd probably cut your hand. So... Date, please, be quiet. And there it goes. Never to be heard from again. Must be the man I'd ever seen. You were able to get out? Perhaps the balloon was the key. No, I'm pretty sure the balloon was a balloon. It wouldn't really work as a key. It wouldn't hold its shape. I remember now. The story I heard of a Mizuki a while back. One time when Mizuki was just a little girl, Shoko bought her a balloon. I mean, it was free balloon day, so it wasn't really much a gift, but, uh... You know. Um... It was one of the nice helium ones that are getting increasingly expensive because we're facing a national shortage. But the strings slipped through her hand. The balloon sailed up into the sky. Shaka snap. She scolded Mizuki for hours. Maybe that's why. Mizuki put the balloon inside a birdcage. Why? I could never fly away again. I guess I and I made her relive a painful memory. We're kind of pieces of shit. We aren't doing anything constructive here. All right. Now that the birdcage is off, let's get the Suki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? Just, just reach your hand out and just, just run it across the bars. Friction will kick in eventually. If you stop time, you can go in, right? Impossible. How are they able to move within my stop time? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. I don't like the way that band is looking at me. Alright. Got a band ahead and a parasol. And a 
heads over in this direction. The panda is floating. Chad, can you bear with the suspense? Eh, get out of here. All right. All right. Ten. Twenty-two. Uh, uh, hike. We did it. It's dead now. What is this? Very go rounds can fly. I mean, anything can fly if you launch it hard enough. Dante, over there. Virus. Why isn't she wearing any pants? Why? Those are a lot of stab wounds, and they're astonishingly clean. Why is Iris... She appears to be frozen. Man, not this shit again. What the hell is going on? Ah? Uh? Ah. Uh. What is this? Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? That hurts! That hurts! Please stop! I'm sorry! Why are you here? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! If you weren't here, everything would be fine. I'm sorry! Apologizing means nothing! Hey, I don't really think anyone needs to work towards that, Choco. What's that look, huh? Ow! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! It's all your fault. You. You! I wish you had never been born! Mizuki's voice. The other voice is likely. I bet we can read the dialogue tags. You don't need to explain this to us. Damn. What's going on here? Iba, look out! What? Wow, you have terrible reaction times. Bonk. I was about to become a pancake. She was almost an Iba sandwich. Good thing this isn't a bed and breakfast. That frozen iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry go round is stopped. So would that make that a winter iris? Alright, let's get this shit over it's with. Mizuki. But why? It's motivational. A lot of companies do it. Game, I don't think that's the sort of encouragement I was going for. I'm pretty sure I know what I was thinking. I suppose I will give it a try. <sighs> hey! Stop moping around! Stand up and get out here! Guess it didn't work. I don't think it works for those companies, either. Uh, can we it's do it Mizuki. now? Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. Gee, I wonder if this was the correct we answer. We will always be there for you. So, it's all right now. Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? 
Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. I think that's literally the opposite of what we need right now. Mom loves you, Missy. I love you. I am so glad that you were born. So, so glad. Hey, do you hear something? Is that a phone ringing? Well, something better go pick it up. It's real obnoxious. Where, where's it coming from? Date, don't! You can't stay any longer! Sweet freedom. Of course, as the first Somnium we cleared this forever ago, so there's no prizes to get. And if there were, I would not have bothered anyway. Good morning, Sunday morning, even though it's only Saturday. Alright, good talk. Are you okay? Suki. Yep, that's her name. She don't wear it out. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. Man, you really bungled this one, Date. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, look, there's a photo of her with her family. That's all torn up. That seems symbolic. Like, I know where I should work with the balloons. I left. Call Iris's phone. It's urgent. Oh, boy. Why the rush? Please, just call. Hello? This is Konami Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Oh, Tate! Yep. Is something wrong? I mean, that's one word for it. Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? I bet nobody likes a pedant. Okay. But if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? Absolutely not. I have some standards left. No. Then go on a date with me. A date? If you promise me we'll go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. If you don't promise me, then... Okay, is there any character in this game who isn't obnoxious, self-adorbed, and clinically insane by real-life standards? I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. All right. Understood. Understood? Great! Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Fine. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya! His number is seven. Just... Just seven. He he got his phone really early on. What was that? A phone call? Uh, no. Technically, there weren't any phones involved on our end. It's nothing. 
Nana redeemed a hoi. Nana. 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 You're going to give yourself an uneven number of points and it's going to bother you forever. And I'm not refunding this. She didn't answer. Mizuki, I saw something strange in your dream. Iris, she was frozen. She was frozen today. She was dead. Christ. What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, please. There's no answer. Date, there is no point attempting to speak with her. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. Oh, it is just really distracting. What an obvious, like, mistake this entire route is from the starting point. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream world, I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere? Or did you just imagine it? There's no Dante, answer. There's no point. You couldn't heal her. Her symptoms haven't improved. She'll be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. Mizuki, I have to ask you. You got a Nile message yesterday. And then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was white. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. He's not saying anything. Boop. Mizuki. Not even an obligatory head pat. Why do you keep doing this to me? When we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. I'm not I mean, we the thing. players know the answer to literally every question Data has asked thus far. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. Good Answer pacing me, game. Date, please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. Damn it. You know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think the other route might have been the one where Date was smart. Or between levels of Dateisms that shouldn't be possible. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. As you should know, given that you've worked here for six goddamn years what and the three routes before this. What the is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. So we know yes, about Peter, everything we're all we saw. very proud of you. The phone, the frozen corpse. It didn't go well. But it's not all bad. It's only mostly bad. The sink wasn't a total waste of time. It was only mostly a waste of time. We found clues. Clues, right. Blues clues. Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki's Somnium. I know. Cool. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Did CSI report anything like that? No, nothing. Okay, well that's not helpful. They searched the site, but didn't find a single thing. I don't want to ask that. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. 
I think you might be oversimplifying a little. Dreams are first person experiences. I mean, that's just blatantly untrue in lots of people's cases. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. So they play the role of M. Night Shyamalan. That would explain quite a bit, actually. The sinker is merely the audience. Okay, that's not helpful. I know about the ringtone you heard, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? That's what I'm trying to find out. Can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately not. That would be too easy. I mean, given that you have Aiba, literally everything here is too easy, but you know. We have to pretend there are some stakes here. Alright, I guess we'll have to get through with this. Ah, the corpse you saw in Somnium. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's see. As a man of science, I don't believe in such things. Now, dream analysis, that's totally real. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Huh? You saw her. Yeah, just, just, just a metal plate on your back and you'll be fine. She was stabbed countless times in the back. Like, like literally, not metaphorically. But maybe metaphorically too, depending on who the culprit is. She could have used some stab proof armor or something. Not a bulletproof vest that would not protect you from a knife due to the physics and material sciences of Kevlar. The proof vests are in fact different things. Now you know. Now at least half the battle. Action force. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Just indulging in the fantasy of real life prophecies. <laughs> okay, I wasn't gonna say anything, but if you insist on making it sound suspicious, I won't stop you. Don't mind me. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. True. You say true. True. Just uh, watching the game having a bud. Alright, boss. Go toss some vaguely foreshadowing words in here, then we can leave. Where is this coming from? Oh, I see. Don't look at me like that. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Samyo. Her name is Iris Sagan. I know. The girl you went to Bloom Park with today. How do you know that? Iba told me. Iba's a freaking narc on top of everything else. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation reports. Mm. Prophecies, huh? Kaname Date is Dragon Quest protagonist in Dragon Quest. That's why you called Iris. But Date, come on. I know, a dream is just a dream. The fact that she actually is going to be murdered in like a few hours is totally a coincidence. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality. But still, I just have this gut feeling. Date, are you alright? Perhaps the sink is causing negative side effects. I hope that's all it is. Alright, let's go over it all again! Yay! 
I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. We have literally no other lead since I bungled this sink so badly. Looking for the phone? It might be there, it might not. I just want to be sure. Take care of Mizuki, okay? Yeah, leave it to me. Alright, finally, let's go do some actual detective work, why don't we? Why? Now the news. Yesterday night, the body of Shoko Nadami was found. Was, was Shoko famous or are they just really crushed for time in terms of fitting this in a text box? Her body was recovered from the now defunct Blue Park in the Kawasaki district. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. This is the sort of information you share on the news, right? Police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put on display. The MPD has expanded the scope of their investigation and are encouraging anyone with any information to come forward. In other news... At 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo. Oh god, is it that nudist colony again? I keep telling those guys. A traffic collision occurred, involving five cars and at least one truck. Oh, truck You are so busy. As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious in critical condition. Six other individuals were treated for minor injuries. That's not a bad score, but they certainly could have done better. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Alright, good talk. Man, there are a lot of incredibly long straight roads in Tokyo, I didn't realize. Alright, let's do this. Sweet, blissful silence. Ah, now I'm still on the fence about this game. There's a fence set up around the merry-go-round. That game. There we go. Last night, Mizuki was found in that column. Why was she in there? Alright, we can't look that far. Never mind, we can look back here. And we... Bench... It's a bench. It's a bench, chat. Can't believe there's a real bench here in Springfield. It's the control room of the merry-go-round. This is where the ride is operated. Metal pole. It's a uh, once we can't even look at the horses. Bench, 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 mm, bench. My game's not exactly chucking us a lot to work with here. It's been eight years since Blim Park closed. They got to pretty bad. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see do, do, do. I wish, I wish, while well, I was thinking the shooting star vanished. Damn. 
Oh, Dante. Why am I stuck living in your head? Excuse me, miss, but you shouldn't be here. This is private property. Wait. Your body is... transparent? Wait. A are you a ghost? Like Zoik Scoob, a g -g -g ghost. It's me. Who are you? Me? It's me. Whom? I said me. But are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost. Then, Iba? But why? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. Yes, I need encouragement on that front. I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? What do we gotta work with here? It was somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Affirmative. The source can't be far. The phone must be nearby. I do not know if it actually exists. Dreams consist of memories. And absolutely nothing but that else. that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. In fact, it is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, the events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd, exaggerated, or otherwise warped. But not completely fake, oh gods no. Clearly, they do not represent exactly what happened in reality. The ringtone as well. Mizuki didn't necessarily hear it. I understand that. But it's our only lead. And where do we find the damn thing? It's a horse from the merry-go-round. Are you just exposition dumping at me? Game, you knew there was a possibility this would not be my first. Come on, come on. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. And she transforms between them using some sort of magical girl transformation. Oh, this? Fortunately, we are on the Netflix adaptation, so we can just hit skip on that. Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. Be Rika from Tiefblau. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. What a compelling argument. As I mentioned earlier, I cannot say for certain if there was a phone here. You can't say much for certain, evidently, unless I just harass you about it for several minutes. However, if there is, it must be well hidden. CSI has already searched the area thoroughly. Sorry, I've just had you staring at that horse's ass the whole time. But they did not discover anything. Well hidden, huh? Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. Let me see. Alright, come on, just I let me do the, the, the horse hockey uh, x-ray vision thing we know you can do. It is certainly the case that the phone would be placed somewhere not readily visible to the naked eye, if it exists at all. Did you check the horse? The horse? Shoko's body was placed on this horse. It must be significant, and it appears that the horse is hollow on the inside. Could you not have led with that woman, Grimane? Where are these horses, is it? Alright. Computer. 
and hands. There we are. Look at that. Took you long enough. It appears to be a smartphone. I knew it was in the horse. I mean, it's got to be at least a little smart if it's this good at hide and seek. Don't lie. You doubted me. So how do I get it out? Uh, don't you have a gun? I cannot find any weaknesses or seams in the horse's body. So how did it get in there? The horse's neck does not detach either. There must be some hole or something. I found one. Where? The mouth of the horse. I might be able to fit inside. One moment. Alright, let me just put my eye out one second. I got it! Hooray. Yes. Good job, Iva. Hooray. We got the phone. Iba, who owned this phone? Was it Steve? The number is... One, two, three, four, five, incredible. The same combination I have on my luggage. The results came back quickly. This is a rental phone. A rental? The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Joe, mom, god damn it. Come on. Date. Look at the device history. It's gone. No outgoing call history. What about the incoming history? Only one call. It's from... Kagami. Dun dun dun. 9.02 p.m. yesterday. Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnium. Who is the caller? Their name isn't displayed. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts. Alright, so the culprit had at least decent vision. Either that or they wore glasses. No numbers at all. Not even three, the greatest number of them all. The phone had no email addresses or browsing history, that could be a clue either. Just the one clue. A call at 9.02pm. Had I but look up the number. This number is also from a rental phone. Oh, that's great. Uh, awful convenient, do we think it's an accomplice? No owner is registered. Oh. Nah. Beetle sticks. What happened? The battery died. The screen turned off. Hmm. And knowing I have weirdly encyclopedic knowledge of mechanical shit, can we deduce how long it was in use based on that fact? Iba, remember the number I just gave you? Of course. Call it. <laughs> Connected. It's connected. Uway. Uh. Bib -hib. My name is Kaname Date. I'm with the Metropolitan Police Department. Are you an idiot? They hung up. Oh, how rude. Oh, you think so? What kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? I couldn't help it. I wasn't ready. I just said the first thing that came into my head. You told me to call. I didn't think it would work. Disappointing. No, oh, Kaname. Why am I stuck with you? There is no other word for it. You're telling me. Ignoramus buffoon. Absolute doofus. Ultramaroon. You are not a clown, you are the entire circus. 
Dingus, Knucklehead. Utter fool. Iba, can you call it again? Gutter trash. I'll be ready this time, I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. The big ding a -ling. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. Damn, call deny. Call deny? Yeah, call denied. Oh, the thing Reka from the Cabaret Club did to your number. Damn, you remember that? Alright. Near 3rd Street, Shinjuku. Alright, that narrows it down at least a little. That's a wide range. I'm trying not to make this. Can you tell us they called from a smartphone? Oh. They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. The power also appears to be off. I cannot connect from any line. Because you blew it. <sighs> Probably someone involved in the incident. Oh gee, thanks, Dr. Obvious. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police. Then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. Unknown. But it does appear to be deliberate. Did the culprit do this? Or did someone else? And for what specific purpose? There would be no point to that now. That's sensible. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the move. Right. Good job, Date. Iba, let's get going. There's nothing more here. Where are we going? I don't know, I hadn't thought that far ahead. Iris's house? Yeah. I'm curious. About your prophecy? Absurd. It was nothing. Let's hope so. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can't find a lead Date won't accidentally destroy. Alright, it's not that far a drive, all things considered. Hmm? So we didn't need to do any Coming. sort of power sliding. Date! No, she doesn't look that dead. Uh, there does not appear to be anything of consequence in here. A telephone in the corner. By the way, where's your mom? By the way, let me start this conversation. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. It's not suspicious. She looked kind of panicky, too. Where did she go? Uh, don't know. She didn't tell me. I'm hop, hop, hoppy, happy. Don't do that. That's not even your catchphrase. Why would you say that? Hop, hop, rabbit goes hop. Stop. Why do you ask? Oh, well. You see. Because I saw your dead body in a dream. Are you seriously going to tell her that? Look, you're the ones who keep insisting Somniums have value. You hush. Hmm? I'm the one who asks these questions about literally every other piece of evidence they've ever given us, and you all keep going, oh no. All dreams are made from memories. Filthy hypocrites. Go take a shower. Date, you have confirmed that Iris is safe. Are you done here? I know, I know. Date, you came! Apparently. But aren't you a little early? Huh? You said you would play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow. No, I didn't. I did promise to go on a date with you. Tomorrow? It's not even midnight yet. I 
kept my promise by staying home, so you need to keep your promise, Date. Oh, did you want something to drink? No, sorry. I should be going. What? Leaving already? Yeah, I don't want anything that has to do with what you'd approve of. Yeah, I have some work to do. Well, will you at least watch my stream at one? Stream? One in the morning. Don't you remember? I'm an internet idol. Yeah, how embarrassing. And you're gonna stream online? Imagine streaming on the internet at weird times couldn't be me. Yeah. At one in the morning. Yeah. Who wants to watch an ASAT stream at one in the morning? Meanwhile, at the Matsushita re 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 residence. Oh boy, 1 a.m. You're a young woman. You shouldn't stay up so late. Oh jeez, you sound like an old man. Because he is an old man. It's fine. Today isn't for work, it's just a personal stream. That's not the issue. I mean, it could be. And tomorrow is Sunday. The day isn't the issue either. Anyway, please watch, okay? I'll ask you about it on tomorrow's date. Fine. All right, can we please go do something plot relevant now? Date, I have been thinking. No, you haven't. Don't lie to me. I am glad that nothing bad happened. Yeah, you're right. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. I swear it's came to me. I stepped down hard on the accelerator. Unfortunately, at that exact moment, a large truck pulled out in front of us. Alright, this Sunday. Only on I, the Somnium Files, and so on and so forth. Okay, boss. I asked HQ to look into it. They found a few things. What, like, uh, uh some, some, some pocket linked to banana peel? First, the owner was Shoko Nadami. Well, that's not helpful. It was Shoko's phone? Yes. Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Who called the phone? And who was phone? Sorry, we don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. Jesus, how many phones do these people got? They didn't register a name. I can make a deduction with this information. We know that the phone belonged to Shoko. Right. Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. After Shoko was killed. I believe we can make an assumption here. The caller probably wasn't the murderer. Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Maybe. But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call. So that they can bring her to the scene. But then why hide the phone? They would have left it somewhere easier to find. True. But either way, our mysterious caller is suspicious. Consider this. Uh, please, consider they the following. They did not following. register the phone under their real name. And also, they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. Think about it, won't you? Thank you. And on top of that, they blocked Date's number and turned off the phone. I mean, I think it would be weirder if someone met Date and didn't immediately block his number. The blame lies entirely with Date. I suggest cutting his salary. I'll cut your battery. Do it. I'll plug in somewhere. Anyway, 
We have to identify the caller. If you don't want your salary cut. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. You and Gumshoe could commiserate over instant noodles. Maybe having a friend who isn't a weird cult at Dojikoshi sex pest would be good for you. <sighs> Fine. Alright, anything else? All the history's been erased. There's nothing on the phone itself, but we can still look up its records. I happen to have a friend at the cell company. The head office is looking into it now. A friend is the one we're calling it now. About Renju. About Renju. Renju. Yesterday I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Well, we found him. Where? Central Hospital. He was brought there from a traffic accident. But he's not dead in this timeline, okay. Nobody's dying in this timeline. And it has nothing to do with any constructive work on our end. He's unconscious and it's not looking good. Could it be? Capital Highway? Oh, you heard about it? We heard the report on the radio last night. I can't believe it was about Renju. Date, you should go talk to him. What we should? He is Shoko Nodami's former husband, after all. He might have some information. But he's still asleep, isn't he? Smack him across the face and wake him up. I don't think that's a medically approved procedure, boss. You're his friend, right? He'll understand. <sighs> Come on. Look, Date, the narrative needs you to go over to the do the questioning right now. And we don't have time to explain why. There's been no progress, as usual. And evidently. The people at the main office are so incompetent. The smartphone you brought in yesterday is still our only lead. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. So our plan is just sit around and wait for someone else to give us some actual evidence to work with. Great, great, put all the shit on my plate. I see how it is. She was returned to the hospital after the sink. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. Hmm? Huh? Strange. Mizuki's phone is at home, Date. The GPS and Wi-Fi access point confirm this. Maybe she forgot to take it with her? She went home by herself? Possibly. But why? But why? Unknown. Pause sitting on the desk. Not in the mood. Date, you promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. Yeah, Dante promises women a lot of things he isn't capable of following through with. What exactly are you planning to do? What? Seriously? Are you for reals right now, my dog? It's a social date. A man's promise is his bond. You absolutely must keep your word. Have you ever heard of a white lie? So, you're gonna act like it never happened. That's not what I said. You know, Date is like 30, right? The day's not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? Oh, so you are not planning a real date then? No, of course not. If you say so. You almost sound relieved, Daiba. Pardon? Are you jealous? Chad, I'm going to be real with you. I hate literally everything that has happened since we started stream today. I impossible! M Masaka. B B Makana! I could never be jealous of a silly little human like her. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh, 
All right, will you please talk about literally any other topic while I still have the energy to put up with this? I am watching the case file of Shoko Nadami as it is updated in real time. I mean, I'm not sure what they're updating it with, seeing as how we literally just said there is literally nothing there. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant progress. Wow, cool. Hmm. Hey, Date. Why not go to that bar you haven't been to in a while? I mean, we've already seen one of this, this case of someone getting their eyeball eaten. Why not just feed eyeball to a dinosaur? Maybe it'd cause something funny to happen. Bar. Marble in Golden Yokocho. You know, place you were at earlier, but you forgot about it because we didn't know for sure this wouldn't be the first time you heard of it. Hmm. Yes, hmm, I see. Mama runs Marble. She's an informant who knows just about everything there is to know about the criminal underground. Maybe she knows something. I have a place to check such a hospital. I don't know if there's any kind of stuff. Just go and see Mizuki. Iba, let's move. Roger that. We're gonna make us go through all three, not sure what point there is to being picky about an order. I guess we'll check on Mizuki given that she is, you know, legally our, our responsibility and also 12. And because I know for a fact she's not going to actually give us anything to work with. Honestly, I doubt any of these are going to give us anything to work with. If it were, they wouldn't have given them choice of order. Yes. Hitomi Sagan, Iris's mother. Yes, we know, Iba. Thank you. Yes, but why? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. Suki, what are you doing? What's it look like? <laughs> hey, you're all right. Bench pressing. You can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. It's a Christmas miracle. I received a Nile message from Izuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. Weird how that hasn't come up before. I went to the hospital to pick her up. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. Yep, yep. It's been like a few minutes since we Mizuki heard that game. Mizuki wrote a saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. All right, dope. You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Held her? I was hugging her close to me all night. You touched the human in a non-sexual manner? A whole new world is opening up before Date's eyes. When dawn came, I heard her say, teacher, and then she started to cry. As you can see, she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. Yes, elementary school. I mean, yeah, I, I know what grade she's in. It's not what I was asking. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Mizuki lives here with me, but I'm not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. That was all left to Renju. 
He might not be any good at raising her, but he is her father. He takes care of all the official stuff. I am also not any good at raising her, but I'm the one who owns this weirdly large apartment. That was one of the conditions for me taking in Mizuki. You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here? That's right, a district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? I mean, is anything in this world a coincidence? There is an author behind all this. But, like, literally, like, I don't mean I, I think the culprit organized for them to be meeting. I mean, you know what well, I mean. I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but... It wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. They even moved to get into my school district. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes, but I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. Her local elementary school is actually pretty far from here, my house. Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. And more than anything, she's kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good girl. What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. I mean, her and literally every other one's ever been to school, if you listen to the stories. Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. That was actually fairly restrained on her part. Sounds like more than just incidents. But I like that about her. She's a little clumsy. And just like Renju. Alright, Mizuki, what do you got to get out of your system before we're allowed to leave? Junk. I started talking to her, and Mizuki re racked the weight. When I got there, the ice pick was. We've heard this story already. It was stuck in my mom's eye. Yeah, that's real whack, yo. I couldn't think straight. I. The only thing I could think was. I had to get it out. So you pulled it out? Yeah. Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. I mean, I thought we were beyond questioning that, but I guess this is good to know. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. Yeah, we gotta establish this already. I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball? No, it was already gone when she got there. Gone. Reduced to atoms. That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. You know, walking around with a loose eyeball in your back pocket, you know, normal person things. Mizuki's being awfully nice this route, and she's still traumatized. Give her a minute. What's wrong with Daddy? 
You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. You don't say. Nizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? You can say it's more inconsistent than anything else. It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. Got to know. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. As there we've are established, individuals in a high crime right there. As we've established, must have been worried about going alone. As we've established, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Well, not exactly you. Yeah, we really contributed nothing here. It was here. teacher who stayed with me all night. I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. See, that's the Mizuki we all know. She's my teacher. She's special. That's not how my relationships with my teachers worked out. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. Or not love them all equally in the common cases. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. I can't help myself. Are you gonna make me game? A plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. Just what I was afraid of. A skeleton. Oh. Tell me, has a metal plate in her right shoulder. Oh, does it bother you? I mean, not particularly. I'm not the one touching it. I guess that's from when she got shot. Most likely, Nana. Can you not move it? No. I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. That should pretty conclusively take her off the suspect list. And then there were, like, what, two at this point? Was there an accident, or...? I highly doubt Iba's got it in her to commit murder. I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. Okay, just, just gonna come out and admit it. The nerves died and... The noise of it all. The story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. He was carrying a gun. And the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. Not drugs, kids. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. What? Dream I saw. I thought he was dating, he told me. Well, that wasn't the flashback we saw. That was the dream from the very beginning of the game. 
We know from the actual flashback we saw in the previous route that Falco was present at the time of the shooting, alongside what's his face, Rohan, Rohan Kumakura, the Yakuza boss. Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. That's all we really had to establish. Isn't that wonderful? Alright. Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. So we've established. Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. It's nothing. I can talk. Well, we have something of actual substance to ask Renju now. We should at least go in and look at the man. Given that the game is giving us the option of when to do this, I'm going to assume he's not ready to be questioned yet, and this whole trip is going to be a waste of time. There's no one here. That's not good. Indeed. The bed is empty. Like my soul. A window. He's not here. So I say, not what I asked. As you can see. He snuck out at night. You seem remarkably unconcerned about that fact. Snuck out. Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. But that's okay. That's where all the blood is supposed to be. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Ranju is extremely suspicious. I mean, with that haircut, how could he not be? He has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. He has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital. I mean, Mizuki's not currently in the hospital, so I suppose that's not that weird. Even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Perhaps this is an escape. Iba, call and escape. Roger that. Hello, this is Lemniscate Entertainment Offices. Aren't you the lady at the front desk? Don't you have more than two employees at this place? Let me hear your message. Thank you. What kind of employee training do they have there? Anyway, I gave them my name and told them about Renjo. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry. No clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. I mean, from what we heard of from the nurse earlier, his insides have apparently been made quite a mess of. Not in that way, perverts. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the maid cafe. Of course. He is Dante's friend. I suppose this was inevitable. Maybe he's gonna die soon. It wouldn't be the first time. Maid cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? You know, I haven't brought it up yet, but Sunfish Pocket is a really weird name for a restaurant. Like, out of nowhere, Renju was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was gonna throw, like, a secret party or something? But with the accident and all... Still, he might be there. It's a terrible name. Yeah, I mean, like, Sunfish is not a terrible name for a cafe, but what does Pocket mean in this context? Thank you. 
You've been very helpful. Like what are you gonna put in your pocket? The freaking spaghetti? That doesn't even make sense. Sunfish pocket, huh? Hmm. Sunfish pocket. It is worth scoping out. Alright. Should probably talk to Mama just for the sake of saying we did so. Oh god, my soul. Yeah, let's head on in. Ma 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 I saw it all on the news. How awful. Alright, so how is Shoko? I mean, aside from being dead. Something. I don't water, know how water, 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 Nah, yeah, thank you. The hydrate and the stretch. Water, 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 water. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Really? Okay, That's we know right. this bit already. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. Stretching so now. Maybe. Did Kumakuras <laughs> killed her? I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Maybe Shogo did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. <sighs> Hold on. It's yeah. been a while. I have no idea. Okay. What's wrong with Ren? Oh my god. Talking all about the accent and how Ren just subsequently vanished from time and space. Oh no, really? Yes, really. Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. I've been okay. That's nice. How are you, Date, honey? I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. That he doesn't strike me as the bourbon type. I don't know what type he does strike me as, but it wasn't that. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows. I may have made that comment last time we were in here, I don't remember. Sometimes getting into arguments. Look at his face just hanging, just hanging his mouth open like, Dude. One time it even became a real fight, you remember that? Yeah, brother. You don't remember? I don't know, I'm just groping for things to say at this point. Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. Well, he's about to lose them both. He blew up on you. And not in the sexy kind of way. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Yep. What about Ren's watch? Yeah, his favorite watch. It appears to be made of solid gold that's probably actually kinda heavy. He got it from his new lover. An anniversary gift. Oh, this was of course after the divorce. <laughs> Ren was so happy, he showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. Okay, so he definitely didn't actually get that watch from a lover, and it's definitely got some sort of evidence on or inside of it. That's the only way this arc can possibly end. 
Mm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. Uh, I'm not sure I believe you. You don't have the animation for it. We have very different occupations. It's kind of the same. I make people throw up. You make people throw up the truth. <laughs> Stop it, you. Spark on Marble and Alec on Golden Yokcho. She belongs to a lot of pro LGBT groups and the like. Can't imagine why. Turn the time around the exposition, 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 exposition. Yeah, okay, you, you get it all over with. We knew that before we came in here due to the power of non-linear storytelling. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. They have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. Maybe we'll get into another friggin' mini shootout. Alright. So, at least one other timeline, this is a future crime scene, and this is the Yakuza office. Seems like a bit of a production to go in, and, um... You know, chat, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm incredibly tired. This seems like a bit of a production. This entire stream has been kind of throwaway, but, you know... Maybe that's acceptable losses. At least I can label it as such on the, um, on the playlist to end it here. So yeah, I think I'm going to be ending this stream here. For today, let me see. Eh, there's three people here. Yeah, we'll raid someone. Who's live? Who's live and would appreciate the tiniest support Twitch will legally acknowledge. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, Laurel. I saw you were in chat, but you didn't say anything, and I didn't want to push it. Happy rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm. Well, maybe Umimi might be still alive, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe we could drop in on Udi Goody again? It's been a while since the last time we spoke good old Broccoli Head. Thanks for the stream mates to help you rest up. I definitely won't, but I appreciate the thoughts. Alright, we're gonna be reading Udi. They are playing Space Channel 5, Crazy Taxi, Dead or Alive 2, and Sonic Adventure, or possibly one or the other. Uh, it's, it's all of those are games I'm quite fond of, as it happens, so you know. You know the story, be nice to people just because they're not me. Take care of all of yourselves, and I will see all of you in the future. Bye-bye, children. I love you all very much. Okay, that's not really true. I don't know most of you. But, you know, have a nice day. Laters.